I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, Chattanooga radio and TV legend Luther Massengill has passed away. WDEF announced the news this morning. Luther had been inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame in recent years. He spent 60 years at WDEF and was 92 years old. He will be missed. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office plans to experiment with body cameras on deputies. Sheriff Jim Hammond says the department hopes to rent body cameras in the coming months to capture everything officers see and hear. But the Sheriff's Office wouldn't be the first department in the area to get cameras. Earlier this month, the Chattooga County Sheriff's Office ordered 23 cameras and the town of Kimball bought nine. Sheriffs in Walker and Dade counties say they're also interested in getting body cameras. Chattanooga Police Chief Fred Fletcher says he wants every officer to wear one, but that could cost close to $400,000. Chattanooga's public library is shedding books by the thousands. Director Corrine Hill has removed more than 100,000 books in the last two years, cutting the library's collection in half. Hundreds were hauled to a recycling center, and Hill says she didn't document which titles she pulled off the shelves. Her critics say she's destroying collections that are difficult to replace. But Hill says it's part of a national trend and that libraries aren't just about books anymore. She says she disposed of books that were worn out, mildewed, and outdated. Plus, cleaning the library has made space for a creative lab on the fourth floor and room for children on the second floor. And now that the collection has been thoroughly weeded, Hill says she'll get rid of books on a much more limited basis. A babysitter in East Ridge has been charged with aggravated child abuse after police say children in her care were, quote, shaken like a bed sheet. 31-year-old Bridget Jones was arrested after two of the children she cared for went home with broken legs. The victims were a six-month-old and a four-month-old girl. One mother says she didn't notice anything was wrong until her daughter got an x-ray. Jones told police she grabbed each of the children by the feet and shook them when they cried. She told police her boyfriend was abusive, which made her angry. She says she's sorry for what she did. Two Chattanooga natives are working at ground zero in the Ebola crisis. Alexis DeCosimo and Perry Maddox are both helping with relief efforts in Africa. DeCosimo is in Liberia working to address the emotional needs of children who are suspected of having the disease and kept in isolation. And Maddox is working on preventing Ebola in Sierra Leone. His program is sending volunteers door to door, teaching locals how to avoid the disease, how to quarantine the sick, and how to dispose of the dead. He says his teams are reaching some villages where no one has even ever heard of Ebola. Police say a Chattanooga woman pulled a gun on a driver who rear-ended her car. It happened Friday afternoon on Southmore Road. Witnesses say 23-year-old Elizabeth Clark began arguing with the driver who hit her, 23-year-old Oscar Jackson. Then she got out her gun and pointed it at Jackson, his passenger, and multiple bystanders. She's been charged with aggravated assault and is set to appear in court tomorrow. A former executive is suing Erlanger Health System on charges of age discrimination. 59-year-old Blaine Morris was senior vice president of clinical services until earlier this year. He says he was fired when CEO Kevin Spiegel began demoting and terminating older employees. Morris also alleges that 100 older Erlanger workers retired by the end of 2013 to avoid changes in retirement policy. An Erlanger spokeswoman says the hospital refutes the allegations. Morris is seeking $2.5 million dollars in damages. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 70 degrees. The low tonight will be around 49. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.